What's the deal, folks? Welcome to Device Overdose. I'm your host, Ty. So I've always been a fanboy of the Motorola tech ecosystem. So in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Moto 360 Gen 3 Phantom Black Smartwatch. Price tag, 275 green stamps. So let's go ahead and bust that down now. I also bought a companion to pair it up with. I'll do a fast overview of the Motorola One Zoom. We're gonna chop it up a little bit. I'm gonna take the camera out into the hood and test it out. So let's get into the video. The Motorola One Zoom is a mid-range, in my opinion, flagship smartphone. Inside the Moto Zoom, there's 128 gigabytes of internal storage and up to 512 expandable. The phone is rocking a 6.4 1080 by 2340 AMOLED display. Now hold up, bust to me. The Moto One Zoom does have some waterproof protection. The phone has a P2i splash proof nano coating. But enough with the spec talk. I'm gonna turbocharge the phone, then we're gonna take a quick spin downtown to the promenade and give this quad camera some real scenery. We out. On the rear side of the phone, there is a 48 megapixel wide camera. This footage was recorded at 60 FPS, full HD. Also, there's the eight megapixel telephoto camera with three times optical zoom and OIS. OIS means optical image stabilization. The 8 megapixel cam has the zoom feature that attracted me to this phone initially. The images do get quite blurry the more you zoom in, but this is dope considering the distance of the objects. I can't wait to take this phone to the boardwalk so I can zoom in on all that there is to see to the third magnification. The third camera is a 5 megapixel depth sensor. This is the camera that allows you to blur out the background. Now you do have control over the blur effect and this camera is also on point with a pretty decent portrait shot. The fourth and last cam on the rear of the Moto One Zoom is a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. In my opinion, there's nothing too outstanding or noticeably imperfect with the images that would deter me from recommending this phone. The Snapdragon 675 processor coupled with the lithium polymer 4000 milliamp hour battery is enough speed and power to handle most daily tasks speaking on a mid-range flagship level. The front facing camera has a good range of resolutions to record in. Coming in clutch at 25 megapixels, your selfies are gonna look right. Okay, when it comes to the Motorola One Zoom, I think I put enough ketchup on that frank. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the Moto 360 Phantom Black smartwatch. The Moto 360 Gen 3 forces a flat circular design. It sports a 1.2 inch OLED display. The screen resolution is 360 by 360 pixels. The device has a stylish, multifaceted design. It's a wavy accessory while having an active day in the park. A casual evening or accessorized as part of your business attire. Moving on to the hardware aspect, the Moto 360 has 8 gigabytes of internal memory, 1 gigabyte of RAM with a 355 milliamp hour battery, which lasted me well into the next day. The watch is running Wear OS 2.17 by Google. The system is fast, responsive, and as you would expect, very customizable. The power button doubles as your navigation control. The bottom button can be remapped to function of the features such as find your device when you misplace it. The Moto 360 has all of the standard features that a smartwatch entails, such as fitness, agenda, heart rate, the Play Store, and the plethora of watch faces. But if you're looking for that Samson experience, like making phone calls on your watch, your ass is fresh out of luck. Because this watch does not have a speaker. Now for 275 green stamps, I think they could have fit a speaker in this watch someplace. The Moto 360 connected to the Zoom as soon as I turned the watch on. However, I did go through the 36 chambers of death twice trying to pair this device up to a non-Motorola phone. But hold up, bust a meat. There's a very easy fix for this minor issue and I'm about to walk you through the procedure right now. 
So right off the bat, if you're trying to connect a Moto 360 to a non-Motorola device, you are going to have to factory reset the watch. Using the power button, open the menu and go into settings. Scroll through the options and select system. Scroll through the options once again, then select disconnect and reset. Then click on the check button. Install the Wear OS software to your phone and you're ready to smoke. The watch has another feature that I feel worth mentioning before I go ahead and wrap this overview. Open the menu, scroll down, and you'll find the hand wash timer. Now I can only assume that this will be a trending function among smartwatches. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, that's a wrap on the Moto 360 Gen 3 and the Motorola One Zoom overview. If you had a cool time checking out the video, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell. This way, the next time I come through, we could chop it up again. But I'll be back in a minute. I'm out, y'all. Hold it down.